Okay, so, uh, what's going on, y'all? Uh, Durst the Worst coming at you on my smartphone. Um, it looks like one of the NPCs that I conversed with at the Ben Shapiro talk uh, actually did a response video to me because of the video that I put up. Uh, there was a little bit of a hoopla in the comment section when they post about it. A lot of people were talking about, like, sicking the ACLU on me, like, oh, is this legal for him to have recorded a conversation with you on campus in a public area? Uh, so th there's a response video that I found uh, of this person that I talked to uh, during the Ben Shapiro talk, and I just wanted to do, like, a live response real quick to some of the points that were made. So uh, here we go. I'm doing... I know I'm doing good work, so there's going to be some losses, um, but ultimately, still worth it. Uh, Virtue, good work, um, okay. So I'm, you know, I'm handing out these flyers, things are right. going well. I get down to my last, you know, 10-ish flyers. Flyers, yeah, so if you need some background information, if you didn't see the video, which I will be linking in the description, um, this person was handing out flyers, basically, I could bust out the flyer in a second here. Um, I should have had it at the ready, but it was basically challenging a bunch of Ben Shapiro's points saying, oh, Ben Shapiro, you give so much of a shit about facts and logic and reason. Well, I also, the pro-trans, non-binary, LGBTQA plus XYZ123, uh, we also give a shit about facts. And by the way, men can be women and women can be men. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, so this person was handing out flyers. And, you know, to, to their credit, we're actually interested in engaging intellectually with people, which is not what you usually see from the SJW left. You usually see a lot of screaming, a lot of crying, a lot of panting, stomping, burning, smashing, deplatforming, suppression of information, anti-First Amendment, anti-Second Amendment, anti-male, anti-white, which I'm pretty sure, I, I'm, I think that she exhibits some of the anti-white stuff too, but I'm rambling, holy shit. Uh, we'll get to that. Uh, the talk has started, a lot of people right. have turned away, have been turned away from the event. Right. And I find myself out. in a small circle of about 12 people, just talking. Mm -hmm. Just talking. Um, and it gets, you know, out of the scope of what I wanted to talk about pretty quickly. Like I was trying to talk about trans issues and then people wanted to talk about like abortion and Israel and like a bunch of other issues, which, okay, cool. Fine. Go for it. Um, Caroline, you're doing a great job. Thank you, Caroline. Okay. Um, yeah. It's, yeah. Yeah. It's just a little, I guess this was like a live stream video, but yeah, it was true that it did sort of get off the rails from the tranny conversation and a lot, there were some, like some, pro-Israel, like, Jewish students there. They wanted to make it about their thing, and uh, a lot of people were doing whataboutism on abortion for some reason. I, I don't remember. Sometimes conversations can get off the rails, but, um, yeah, you know how it is. But it's also kind of funny that this person is seemingly a little bit entitled, like, oh, well, I'm trying to center this conversation about trans issues, and you want to talk about Israel-Palestine. It's like, whatever, dude. I appreciate it. Uh, we just, we all got to do this work. We all got to come together and stick up for what's right and stick up for human rights. And, you know, it's for survival. So thank you. Survival. Um, Jeez. Okay. So and we're going to get into that. This, this notion that LGBTQ people in the United States or any Western nation are uniquely like under attack in an existential way to the point where it's like dire life or death consequences like I don't know maybe someone in the comments can show me evidence of that maybe the person who made this video and talked to me at the event can give me because I asked for some data while we were talking got a snarky response I didn't really get any data uh, but uh, do continue so where was it? Oh yeah, this group, right. you know, they were talking about whatever, and like, cool, started political conversation, it was pretty civil, um, whatever, uh, and then someone, like, outside of the group taps my shoulder, and I turn around, and someone is telling me that I'm being filmed. What? Hey, yeah, you're being filmed right now. 
what? Turns out the guy that was like right across from me within this circle of people, um, I hadn't noticed this because I was just so fixed on the conversation that was happening. He had a shirt just like this mm -hmm. and he had his camera phone um, sticking out of his shirt pocket like with the camera facing out mm -hmm. and he had been filming um, within this little group. Um, so right. she recognized him. Uh, he's Yeah, so um, every time I go to these events, as you guys know, people who watch my channel, um, regardless of if I'm like actively going to be engaging with people as Durst the Worst or whatever, I, even in random public interactions, when I'm out in public, I do feel the need to record, especially if I know that I'm going to be around a bunch of leftists, because a lot of times they will lie. As we all know, all progressives do is fucking lie. They, they exaggerate things. They use hyperbole, it's a lot of emotional appeals, like, you want trans people to die, that type of rhetoric, you know what I mean? So, whenever I'm around, like, like activated leftists, I feel the need to always be recording. And it wasn't like I was, like, hidden cam style recording, per se, as, as this person just told you, and as the person who tapped her on the shoulder said, I had a phone, camera phone, very conspicuously sticking out of my pocket, I had been recording the entire event, talking to a lot of the YAF members, stuff like that. So she's going to try to spin this like I was some sort of like shady, creepy, like rape culture warrior. I mean, whatever. Some I don't know, like reinforcing. She uses the word without my consent a lot throughout this video. So we'll, we'll, we'll hear that. A YouTuber. I'll get more into right. it later, but he has like 22,000 subscribers and like, hell yeah, dude. Just I don't know. Over. Like, I just ticked over to 22k recently, so thank all y'all. Donate to my Patreon. It kind of weirded me out that, like, oh my gosh, this potentially is somebody that is filming me. I'm going to have to look this guy up later. You know, maybe it's a different guy. Maybe it's someone who just happens to have his phone oriented that way. Right. Whatever. I'll look it up later. So I figure if that's meant to intimidate me that, you know... I haven't been saying anything that I'm ashamed of. I right. No, see, <coughs> come on. This is this is the type of emotionally manipulative stuff that the left does. Like, oh, he's trying to intimidate me. Oh, you know, my safety is compromised. They'll use this very emotionally loaded language like that. And no, it wasn't to intimidate anyone. It's to document the event because it, if you guys like watch my channel or for, even if you looked in the news, if you are from Milwaukee, you remember what happened when Milo came. It was a total Antifa shit show. I mean, there were masked thugs that were allowed to just basically take over the cafeteria area of the union and just terrorize the fuck out of people. They, one of the Breitbart uh, camera guys got attacked, and I think some of his camera equipment got damaged. That might have been in Seattle. I might be getting my stories mixed up. But the point is, I wasn't re I wasn't recording in order to uh, intimidate or anything like that. I was recording to document any goings-on, which at a leftist event, you know, like at a counter... Uh, if, if, there, if there's a right-wing event and any sort of counter leftist force presence, it needs to be documented. Like... Let's just get that clear. Like, that's just something that has to happen. Sticking up for trans rights, that's not something that I'm ever going to, like, fall back from. Um, I didn't have any makeup on or anything, so maybe I got a little more self-conscious about that, but, uh... Patriarchy, I just man. jumped back in the conversation pretending like I never even heard that. Uh, I was potentially being filmed, because, you know, if my ideas and trans rights get more exposure on the internet, cool. Like... Good. <laughs> so yeah, see, this is this is actually the attitude that I like about this person. Um, this again, to reiterate, this is not an attitude that you hear from leftists very often. Like, I'm glad to get my views out there. I'm glad to um, have more hits on this, and that's that's part of the problem and why the left loses, in my opinion, in the sense that they don't have anywhere near the amount of videos out there that just show them triggering or owning right-wingers. Now, the right has the exact... It has that in spades, like, by the terabyte. You know what I mean? They have it all over 
the internet, like, Libcuck owned, and then it's got, like, 350,000 plus views. The left doesn't really have anything like that, let alone them, you know, Socratically engaging with people in discussion. Now, sh this person apparently uh, wants to see a change in that, so I, I commend this person for that, actually. So uh, I get back into this group, and there's this older gentleman that uh, is kind of next to me, and we were talking about... Um, respecting trans folks in terms of like if someone gives you their name and pronouns you use that name and pronouns you know don't be a dick just be respectful i i mean dude whatever that would be like saying well this person identifies as having 11 toes so what, you should respect the fact that they identify that way it's like no I mean, do I even have to apologize? Like, I have a conservative view on gender in the sense that it's men are women and women are men. Um, I'm not jumping down your throat about the bathroom crap. I'm not fear-mongering about trannies attacking you in the bathroom. I don't believe... I, I believe that's a red herring, you know? Um, it, plus, any sort of, like, anti-trans bathroom legislation wouldn't curb that if it was happening. So th that's not what I'm saying, but... It is kind of the Ben Shapiro argument where if you're going to dictate to me like how I need to, to speak, that's just beyond your uh, jurisdiction, especially when you're talking about things that aren't really scientifically real or sound. They're kind of new agey, crystal rubbing, hippie nonsense. So um, I turned to him and I like shook his hand. You can see it in the video later. Um, and I'm like, hi, I'm Bailey. I use, you know, she, her pronouns. I didn't want to get into the whole, you know, singular they, them thing, because some people just don't understand, and that was not a battle that I was uh, willing to fight at that point, point. Um, and I said, you know, do you have any problem with calling me Bailey, with calling me by she, her pronouns? And he's like, no, because I believe that you're a girl. Like, right. Mm, okay, cool, fine, whatever. And right, because this person is a biological woman and it's this it's this new school i guess what was her name judith butler promulgated a lot of these ideas that gender is completely separate from sex and that you know it's it's all malleable and subjective and up to the person there's no objective standard by which a man is a man and a woman is a woman that's just total bollocks i mean that's that's just generation after generation of kids being told in kindergarten, like, you can be whatever you want, type shit, you know? It's just... It, it's not rooted in reality. Like, I'm sorry, dude. Then he said, suppose you were black. Okay, yeah, but... And I'm like, I, I don't see where this is going or how this is relevant. I really don't like where this is going. I don't need to suppose that I'm black. <laughs> what you're about to say is not going to be relevant, and I really don't want to hear it. So whatever, <laughs> go off anyway. And Why not? He said, all right, and you say, you know, I... I mean, it's just like, someone's obviously trying to give this person a hypothetical and present an argument, and because the hypothetical involves imagining that you were someone else, she's not down, I mean... It's just, I mean, okay, so you just have a lack of imagination then, and you don't know how to engage in hypotheticals? <laughs> Ugh, I don't know. It's people, I mean, I don't know. This is what we mean when we say these NPCs are too overly sensitive, they can't engage in thought experiments, they can't engage in... I mean, I, I know this because I used to be pretty much on the same trajectory, the same spectrum of leftism as this person, like, maybe about three to five years ago. <laughs> So I could kind of empath. <coughs> well, excuse me. Well, we'll continue this though. Don't you want to know what my name is? I'm like, okay, yeah, sure. And I stick out my hand to shake his hand, and he shakes my hand, and he says, "Hi, I'm Massa. Call me Massa. <laughs> like, like master, like slave." So he was saying, yeah. like, if I were black, and he, as a white man, were asking him to call him Massa, like, like a slave master. That, you know, I should just have to accept that. Like, no, no one names their kid that. You know, if, if someone did that to a black person, like, 
Everybody would know that's just a racist troll. I don't... I wasn't... I mean, I was there. It was sort of a chaotic little circle where we were talking. You'll you'll see it in the video. You won't be able to hear it. You'll, you'll be able to see them reacting to this in the video that I'm going to link in the description. Um, but apparently he was trying to do some sort of thought experiment that seemed... Flim I mean, from hearing it secondhand, it seems like a flimsy little thought experiment where... Is he trying to argue that they're trying to enslave him because, or is he trying to, is he trying to like compare himself to being subjugated by them because they are demanding him to speak a certain way? I mean, I don't know. I, I can't really speak for this dude. I was there, but I didn't hear the argument that it does seem a little hyperbolic if, if that's what he meant to say shit like that. However, these leftist fucking activists are pretty fucking hardcore and pretty authoritarian and pretty like they they hold like a hegemonic like hold on academia in a lot of respects especially in the arts and liberal arts and humanities and gender studies departments and they have a very like ironically like rigid way of looking at gender politics it's either their way or the highway and so I think this old coot guy, you'll see in the video, I think he was trying to do a flimsy attempt at saying that you are being authoritarian. I think I think that's what he was trying to do. Sounds kind of stupid the way he used Massa, um, but I, I would venture to guess that that's what he was trying to do. Um, that's not the same as a trans person asking you to call them by, you know, a different, like, normal human name. Like, if... You know, Angelica wants to be called Alex now, or, you know, something like that. Uh, that's not the same thing, um, but that was pretty disgusting that uh, he would say something so racist, and he pretty much walked away after that. You can't hear that in the video right. that um, I'll send you guys the link to later if you want. Uh, the guy that, you know, filmed me for 40 minutes without my consent. Uh, ah, yes, there it is, without my consent. So it's trying to... Uh, invoke feelings of like hashtag me too and i know this person is like she she was like on the kavanaugh war path trying to get that dude busted and pretty sleazy stuff especially considering the whole avenatti stuff and the whole like most of the accusers admitted that they were lying and are being investigated by the fbi i want you know what i wonder if if this person's going to follow up on that and apologize for leading the charge on that um, but yeah, these people are emotionally manipulative. They're going to be like, oh, you recorded without my consent. I don't, if you're in public, it doesn't matter. Fuck off. Because there's other things happening in that circle of people. Um, but you can kind of watch it happen in the background. I'll go back to right. the video and give you the timestamps uh, for when that particular incident occurred. Um, but that was pretty disgusting. Uh, so I go back and he walks away. I'm like rolling there. my eyes like, yeah, okay. That just happened. Um, I was, you know, I was in this group, people start walking away, it's dwindling, it's dwindling, it gets down to, like, four people, and I... There's only ever four people. You know, pretend to realize, like, oh, I haven't caught anybody's name, so I, like, you know, introduce myself, um, and this is the way that I get the name of the guy with the camera. Uh -huh. Um, and he says his name is Dan. Got that me. That was the name that I was given, like, a, a Daniel guy... Um, by the girl that informed me that I was potentially being filmed. So that pretty much confirmed for me, like, oh my god, this is the guy um, with that YouTube channel. So after this, I'm just going to have to, like, constantly refresh things and, like, see what happened there, uh, how quickly it goes up, you know, how many views it gets. Right. Something like that. Yeah, so the video is up to like 6,500 views in a couple days now. Uh, the worst that's happened is you've been ridiculed for your appearance, which I run the channel and I get ridiculed for my appearance on the reg. Um, whatever. Like this this is an, more emotional appeals and implications that like, this, this is something that leftists do that star on my channel. They do this a lot. They spread lies about how I'm putting them in dangerous way or in the way of like alt-right you know terrorists are going to come kill them because they started my videos or whatever and that's the vibe i'm getting like without film without my consent oh no i have to watch the video and see how big it gets and it's that's 
Dude, Trigglypuff and Aid Skrillex, like, got made fun of. They didn't get, like, actually menaced. You know what I mean? No, none of these... Big Red. None of these people actually got fucked with. And I hope they never are. I, ho I just hope that their ideas are put out in, in public and roundly rejected and... I, I hope that their ideas experience a social death or an intellectual rejection by, you know, the Vox Populi. That's what I that's what I hope to achieve by putting these videos out. So I mean I don't know. That was that was a digression, but here we go. So Resume. I that was like pretty much the end of it. You know, after that I went and found the girl who like told me that I was being filmed and I thanked her. And I went and got some food after that. Right. Um, I put my social media information on the flyers uh, that I handed out, so I got a couple of interactions um, from that, and I'm guessing there's going to be more in the future, um, but it wasn't until a few hours later that uh, I refreshed and there was the video that the girl that came up to me had been right, um, mm -hmm. that I was being filmed that whole time, and it was about 40 minutes of footage. Um, without my consent or without the consent of the other people in that group that <laughs> Dude, okay, so people people who were actually arguing on my side in that video commented on the video and I think they were thanking me for uh, Doing that so I don't know dude. You're in public. You have no expectations of privacy Again when this person posted about it on their Facebook and they were talking about all, a bunch of these people were talking about like Punching me in the face or a couple people were knocking my teeth out I already have EU as fuck teeth, so uh, have your pick, dude. Um, they're also talking about like contacting the ACLU and pressing charges, and I think she's gonna get th into that in this video as well. Just makes me laugh. Like <laughs> the left, just they're they're blatantly anti free speech, blatantly anti freedom of the press. It's pretty sickening. So uh, that happened. Um, people are asking um, if. Wisconsin is a two-party consent state, meaning I could potentially take legal action for, for being filmed without my consent. <laughs> no, um, no. I'm not sure that it is. I haven't it's looked not. it up yet. It's not. However, I don't think I want to because I, I really do not have the time, nor the energy, nor the funds for a legal battle. And there's nothing on that video that I am ashamed of. You know, my biggest concern was that you know, since I didn't know I was being filmed for a lot of it, my posture was kind of off, and I look a little heavier set than I actually am. And, you know, I didn't have any makeup on or anything. Nobody cares. It just Dude, oh. Visually flattering, but, you know, I'm a big girl anyways. There's not really much I can do in terms of positioning and, you know, clothes and makeup to fix that anyway. So, yeah, it's really not that big of a deal. It's not. I stand by everything that I said in the video. I didn't call anybody names. Um, I wasn't violent. I didn't touch anybody. Um, oh, hey, Mom. Right, so, yeah, that's... And again, like, I am pleasantly surprised that that's how the interaction went. I feel, though, as if... If I had busted my phone out, like, oh, here you go. Like, if I was conspicuously recording the interaction... Uh, that's how I feel it might have gone differently. I feel like I might have been physically, like, swung at. But, uh, again, that type of shit needs to be documented. Because that's... A lot of people on the left don't want to admit this, but that's what's happening on college campuses. Conservatives are having their civil rights fucked with, and they're being physically menaced and attacked, and having their jobs fucked with, and their businesses fucked with. It's going to sound very extreme for to a lot of people, what I'm about to say, but you are more marginalized on campus as a conservative than a trans person. Bar not, like, without question. Like, there's not even a question about it. You don't need millions of dollars in security fees to put on a pro-LGBT event, you know? But you do for a conservative event. So there's no contest. Conservatives are more of a marginalized class in society than trans people at this point. Like, it's just true. ACLU would probably support you. This is not a this is not a civil rights issue necessarily. Um, no, again, it's definitely not. Uh, I don't know if Wisconsin is a two party consent state. Um, this is just you know, the American Civil Liberties Union does some really great work, and I would feel bad taking resources from them and getting into a legal battle when there are other legal battles that are 
um, you know, much more directly harmful to people's lives, and I'd rather then be able to have um, the funds and the ACLU support uh, to take on their cases. I really don't care um, so much. I stand by everything that's in the video. Um, mm. Hey, Suze, you're amazingly poised. I'm sure I could have done the same under the circumstances. Virtue. Um, yeah, it was, it was, <laughs> it was, Virtue. It was a little intimidating for, oh, you mean you're not sure? Okay. Um, I don't know. I've, I've been like politically involved for long enough and I've seen enough of this stuff go down that I know it could be much, much worse. Like I'm not getting doxxed. People aren't hacking my stuff. Um, you know, my S... JW presence on campus, I guess, has not been offensive enough to merit getting hacked and trolled mercilessly. I mean, if it did, it wouldn't be my fault. Like, sorry, uh, it's not my desire to see you trolled or hacked or whatever. Like, what I want to see is leftist ideas challenged and debunked and roundly rejected. That is my stated goal in making these videos. And the leftist ideas in terms of, like, the extreme shit, like, white people are uniquely oppressive and privileged, even though there's no quantifiable evidence that they are on the individual basis. Um, the idea that, like, gender and sex are malleable and separate, that's not true. That's how we damage the fuck out of young boys, particularly when we you know, feminize the fuck out of education spaces and things like that and tell boys that they're not boys and that there's something intrinsically wrong with being masculine. Like, these are the types of ideas that I think need to be combated. And this person is trying to feign some sort of, like, oh, I'm afraid for my safety. But in reality, it's like, these ideas, when aired out in the public sphere, they don't, they don't fucking stand up to scrutiny. They just really don't. And they'll try to dress it up all nice, but it's really just... It's baked in their opinion. It, it's not really fact. You know, so... Mm. And, um, you know, people are saying stuff like, oh my god, I, I see a pig in flannel. Like, okay, you're telling a fat, disabled queer that she's fat. Like, congratulations. I've, I've really never heard that one before. I Fat, disabled, queer. Like, it's it's all about, like, the identity check boxes with these people, you know? I find that to be so odd. I don't categorize myself as the... Uh, what would I even call my... Like, like ADD, snaggletoothed uh, mental case? I don't know. What, what, what would be my three fucking, like, clarification... Or classifications? It would be... I, I mean, for, to them, it would be straight white male. Like top of the oppression hierarchy and, like, top of the benefit supposed hierarchy that, again, can't be quantified, can't be qualified, cannot be falsified. Uh, it's just so easy to debunk this crap by saying, like, hey, show me your evidence. Oh, you have no evidence? Oh, okay, well... How original. Just dismiss it. Um, it's water off a duck's back at this point. You know, if you're not going to challenge me on my views, if you're just going to waste your own time, that's kind of your loss, not mine. Um... There's not a whole lot of harm that's come from this video, so I don't care enough to take the legal action or even just report the video to get it taken down. Um, I stand by everything that I said. I'm not embarrassed. Right, and if you if you voted it down or whatever, I think people in her comment section were saying, yeah, I reported a bunch of his videos, I downvoted everything. Even if you get a bunch of my videos taken down, people are moving swiftly over to Gab, Mines, Bitshoot, Steemit, all that stuff. It'll all go back up on all those respective sites anyway. So, and and they have, those guys actually have like standards in terms of like freedom of speech that are actually like uniformly applied. So that's a thing. So whatever. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Um, exactly. Whatever. My biggest concern now is getting trans people the support that they need. I don't need support like trans people do. Um, I, when I uploaded a screenshot from the video that was taken without my consent uh, to Facebook, I added a little button to donate. Um, uh, shoot, what was it? Was it the Transgender Law Center? Was it? No, it was like, 
it, it was some kind of national trans resource organization. I feel bad that I'm forgetting which one. Right Virtue. Now. My head's just all over the place with all that's happened in the last 24 hours. But um, there's already been $50 raised um, just from that post towards it. So if any of you that are watching, you know, as I'm live or after I'm live, uh, feel inclined to make that donation. Uh, I do also get like a careerist activist sort of vibe from this this gal. Um, you know, it's like, give me money. Like, it's hand out flyers, give me money. It's these people are under attack and we're, prop we're, we're propagandizing them in order to get power on campus and money and stuff. It's very virtue signally cringy cult. Ugh, I don't know, dude. It's very like, oh, thank you for acknowledging how awesome I am, Sally, in the comments. Um, even if it's just a dollar with that little... Give me money. Button, I would really, really super appreciate that. Again... I'm fine. I'm not the one that needs the resources. It's trans folks that I'm trying to stand up for right, um, that need those resources. So maybe please. I'm just a cynic. I don't know. But it, it, you know, if someone's ever like give me money, I always assume that it's not for the best, you know, cause. And that's, you know, that's why like, yeah, anyone who's entitled on, on you know, on this platform, it's just kind of a side tangent, but yeah, you shouldn't expect any money at all. Um, if you have the time, the inclination, the ability to um, give funds in that way, I yada, really yada, encourage yada. it. Um, ask, you know, hold your friend, trans friends tight. Um, make sure they're doing okay. Ask them if there's anything you can do to help them personally. Um, you can look up um, organizations that are local to you, uh, to my Chicago folks, um, Center on Halstead is a really, really amazing group. Um, you should definitely consider donating your time, your resources, uh, your money there. Um, if anyone seeing this would like some help in finding these organizations, you know, uh, people or groups that you can support, um, Please let me know. I'd be more than happy to help you find that. Um, if you'd like help finding resources, if you want to get educated yourself, if you want to educate others, um, if you want to plan an action of your own, if you want to plan an action with me, um, please, please, please don't hesitate to reach out. I would. Be it's just a lot of, you know, it's social networking. It's what like people in their early to mid twenties really like to do. I remember. I, I mean, I used to buy into a lot of this crap. Um, I'm very lucky and happy that I, and for, feel fortunate that I woke up. Um, it's the perpetually aggrieved culture, you know, like, and they don't realize they're not fighting for equal rights. They're fighting for special treatment. They're fighting for the right to never be offended and to never have their ideas challenged. It really is that simple. Um, is there anything left of this video? And, and, and so, I, I don't, you know, all progressives do is lie and exaggerate. I think that this progressive in particular is better than others because they're actually willing to engage. But you notice how they can't really communicate 